and welcome to my channel and today we are doing a build for Strangerville um, we will be having a sim that you guys will probably recognize um, if you don't that's okay <laughs> especially if you're new here um, but uh, we will be having a sim that we have had in the past she'll be making a good comeback and she'll be going through Strangerville and doing all the fun goody stuff that is here in town so anyway She's loaded, so she needs a nice house. <laughs> and I thought she's a bit too much of a conspiracy theorist to live up in the hills. So she lives down kind of like in town with everyone else. Um, the way that the house kind of gets arranged and rearranged and rearranged some more um, is a bit, it, it's a bit much sometimes. So I end up a uh, kind of, I kept trying to figure out, okay, well, how do I want this house actually laid out? It took me a minute to figure out that, you know what, having two bedrooms downstairs and having a big bedroom upstairs, plus there is a secret office upstairs as well, locked behind one of those uh, panel doors um, new to Strangerville. Um, so anyway, so she's getting this nice two-story house. I tried to kind of make the house look like it belonged in the neighborhood, although let's be honest, it doesn't really look like it belongs in the neighborhood. All the other houses are kind of rickety and kind of broken down, and there's this really nice house here on this lot that has beautiful big windows and a second story, and it looks nothing like the rest of the houses on the block. But, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. So... Here we are, we're putting in her covered patio, since it looks like a lot of the houses in Strangerville do have this same covered patio. So I was like, yes, let's do this. Um, we are going to put in this nice hipped roof here on it. And by the way, um, once we get a bit further in, there is going to be um, some kind of still frames. I kind of, I've been working on my computer a little bit lately and I haven't quite gotten it to like perfection just yet. Um, I have updated a lot of settings in OBS, which is, if you don't want to know what that's called, um, it's open broadcaster software. So this way, uh, pretty much anybody can record if they want to and they can use the program. Um, you essentially just have to fiddle with the settings yourself. Um, with my computer having a lot of different changes made to it over the past couple years, it, um, it's, it, it has needed <laughs> the, uh, settings to be updated. So I do live stream on Twitch three times a week and there I finally stopped having problems. Well, I use a version of OBS to stream on Twitch. So I was able to finally go through and change all my settings to that. And so now all recordings from here on out should be of much better quality. Um, I just haven't had a chance to, uh... unfortunately this one kind of got stuck <laughs> a few times. Um, but she has this beautiful back patio. She's going to have a pool out back as well. Because, of course, she's rich. I mean, who doesn't have a pool if you're rich? Um, but anyway, so you won't be able to fully see me uh, furnish the whole house. Mainly, I believe the master bedroom gets kind of cut off. And the kitchen, I know, gets cut off. Um, you can see there, there was a little bit of freezing. I was kind of like, ah. Oh. But I didn't realistically know until I came here to do this. And I can't honestly replicate the build that I did with it. I can't replicate all that kind of stuff on the fly. Um, but you will be able to see the whole finished house in the tour. And you'll be able to see every room in there. And you'll be able to see how it came out. And it's beautiful. <laughs> what can I say? I do love this house. I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but... It definitely fits in with Strangerville and it's kind of vibes. Um, here's where you're going to kind of notice from here on out that the video tends to get a little bit choppy. And I think it's just because my computer's not used to handling a long video like this. Because originally this video I think was like an hour and a half long. And so having to record that all in one go with OBS and its previous settings kind of caused it to deteriorate. Um, like I said, though, there will be a full tour, so you'll get to see the entire house. And my thing, my favorite, is the living room area. I'm not quite sure if the living room area ends up getting uh, caught in this or not. I think it kind of gets, like, a couple clips here and there. But uh, anyway, 
I did end up putting in a bunch of lights upstairs. And by the way, this house is designed with space in mind. So the entire upstairs, not the bedroom or the office, has all the room available. Both bedrooms downstairs don't have anything in them, so they're 100% available. And I realized a long time ago that, you know what? When I make fully furnished houses, it makes it hard for my Sims to make it their own. And it makes it hard for them to be able to build up their skills because then I have to trade something off. I have to say, okay, well, I'm going to get rid of this bookcase because I don't need any room for a computer. So this is how I will actually be styling my builds from now on is I'm actually going to be leaving space in them. This way you can put your own items in them. Um, and of course, they're always available on the gallery. Um, my gallery name is Jasmine Sim at on the Sims 4 gallery. Um, and it's the same across all platforms. So Twitch, Twitter, and the Facebook page are all at Jasmine Sims, which are of course all linked down below. And I love talking to everybody on Twitch. So if you guys want to come hang out, I would greatly appreciate it. And I'd love it if you could. Um, Anyway, <laughs> maybe enough self promo, but no, no hashtags, you know, no shameless self promoting. Yeah, those are the words I was looking for in that order. <laughs> so here's the uh, living room space. It looks much better in the tour once we actually get down to it. Um, and we get to put in this beetle coat rack, the shoes next to the door, so we can kind of like hang up your jacket put your papers down, put, your, put the mail down, you know, and then uh, kick your shoes off and then you can skedaddle through the rest of the house. Um, so here we are, we're going right into the live tour. I have fully watched this. There is no skipping, no lagging, so you get to see the house in its entirety. Oh yeah, by the way, I kind of forgot to change the color of the cabinets when I recorded this. I did go and change them uh, before, I think I uploaded it to the gallery and then I took it down and then re-uploaded it with the correct colors. But there's this kind of eating kitchen that you immediately walk into. Then we go straight into the living room and the little hallway here for the two bedrooms and the bathroom downstairs. And of course we will be taking a walk outside as well so this way you can kind of see what it looks like outside. Um, there is the couches along with the TV. And then there's a little storage area here, which is perfect if you have seasons. This way you can put that little uh, box, uh, the little decorations box. Um, this is the full bath downstairs. Oh, and by the way, except for I think it said like one item. This is all just Stranger Villain base game. I know there was like a Parenthood item mixed in there somewhere. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I still haven't figured it out, but truth be told, I haven't scanned every item. I'm I'm sure I could figure it out, but at the present moment, I have no idea what it is. Um, so there's a good chance that even if you have, if even if you don't have Parenthood, you're not gonna miss whatever item it is. So, uh, but there is the pool with the beautiful sunset there off that other house. Uh, now we're gonna head upstairs and we're gonna take a look at what the master bedroom looks like upstairs, along with the office space and I, if I don't you know if I don't get to say so myself I think this master bedroom is actually one of my favorites so far that I've ever built and ever decorated because it definitely it feels lived in and it feels homey you know and I just I just love the combination of all the colors um, where the blues actually have bring some color to it but you know it's mostly like neutrals and browns and there is the master bath upstairs. Then you come back out. This is that open floor plan I was telling you about upstairs. And then here is the secret office hidden away behind these uh, secret, secret doors. And that pretty much, I think, wraps it up right here, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Definitely leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. And so what is your favorite build item? Ever. What item do you use all the time? Definitely leave that down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. All my social media is in that description box, including my Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. And like I said, we are live on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love you could stop in sometime. 
I've, as always, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe so you can catch more videos just like this one. And thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys!